Add a little bit more pressure. Come in. Turn my body away. Come on. There you go. What a good boy. Yes, very nice. Come in. Nope. Good boy. Come in. There. Very good. Which side are you going to be on, huh? That side? Yeah, we could do that. Good job. Good job. Come on. Holding. Good. Come on. Good boy. Come on. Oh, there. What a nice dog. Come on. Dear, good boy, good boy. Yes, that's very nice. Okay, ready? You don't like this direction very much, do you? Come on. Come on. Hi, good boy, come here. Come here. There, very nice. Hi. We got some of the circles going. Good. Let's switch our setup here, bubs. <laughs> the sound he makes when he's breathing and walking is really cute. Good. And the only time he's really pulled, a little bit like this. Good. A little bit when he gets stuck sniffing something, but even then, he's he's pretty dang good. Come on. Good. Okay. Got back to a couple driveways down from where he lives in the corner here. That. Okay. Now, good. His reaction is slowing down is good. Good boy. Either to do that, <clears throat> kind of bounce back and forth, good. He's trying really hard. Or try to walk in circles. So here's what we're gonna do. Not a lot of traffic right now. We're gonna use the street. Good. This way. Good boy. Give him a little bit more leash. Good. Good. One more. Very nice. Very nice. Good. I want that this way. So, we found a little threshold here. That. Good. 
right at the end of the street. That's not a problem. There's nothing wrong with that. Gives us something to work on, doesn't it? Oh, good boy. There. Good. Good job. Good job. You so good? No. Good. Do you like cookies? Yawn. Good. Oh, he's taking treats. Cool. So if he's going to take them, I can use them. Good. 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 Turn good boy. Good boy. Good. Good. All right, home. We're not going to go back in yet. A little bit more. Right now, I'm going to see if I can use his circling good to build up momentum and keep him going the direction I want. I want to see what happens. What about there? Good boy! Good boy! We're going to do a little lap right here. Good. Good. Good boy, come on. You going to switch sides again? Come back over here. Good, good boy, good boy. Yeah, do you want a cookie for being just so good? Good. Okay, so then this is our other threshold going the other direction. Good boy, good boy. Can you untangle? Very nice, you're a smart boy, huh? Okay, a little bit of difficulty. Good. Change the angle. So, what we're doing is good and bowy. Good and bowy. I'm using my movement to help build some momentum going the direction he's less comfortable with, which is towards town. Very nice. We're doing circles, which keep him moving forward. Good. And there's a, there goes mom. Come on, let's get out of the street. Very nice. Okay. Because I haven't worked him very much, any excitement I'm going to harness and use. We can slow him down later. And I can show you guys how to slow him down. But for me, good. Good, come on. For me, building a relationship with him, frustration. While we're building a relationship, I need that, I need that excitement to work for me. Good boy. Do you need to stand for a minute? Think. Good. Yep, too stressed. Out of the street we go. Very nice. Very good. <clears throat> Good. The other thing is that I think he is really sensitive, which means that the more precise we can be with leash pressure, so here I'll add a little bit, and wait, the more precise we can be and gentle we can be with the leash pressure, the better he's going to do. That, he's still just frustrated and distracted. Good. Add a little bit more. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to turn the pressure off every time he moves any part of his body towards me. So add a little bit of pressure here. He's thinking. also going to turn the pressure off for any sign of relaxing. So if he yawns or if he kind of stretches or does anything, shakes off, takes a deep breath, 
any of that. Good boy! Sometimes I'll, I'll jiggle the leash a little bit so I don't have to add more pressure, but I can change the stimulation. Good. Add a little. His breathing's changing a little bit. Good. This way, good boy. Nope, this way. Thank you. Get some more movement. In. Good boy. Good. This way. We can't just stay in the street. I mean, we can. There's nobody coming. Good. Very good. Okay. Reward. Part of the reward is going to be going back the direction he wants to go. Ah, but not like that. Good. 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 Good, 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 good. That was kind of a cheater way to get him to move towards me a tiny bit. Good. Before I moved all the way to the direction he wanted to go. Good. Distracted. Good boy. Okay, so he does that, that head movement. He knows he's supposed to do something with the leash pressure. You're just having a hard time focusing. Go ahead. Good. Good job. What a good boy you are. Can we go this way? Yeah. Good. So there, I don't mind a dog in front of me as long as they can respond to the leash pressure. And he's doing a great job at that. Do you want to go this way? Do you need a bike? Did you find something good to sniff? space this way because I don't think I'm ready for that with you or rather I don't think you're ready for that with me all right come on you might be done good good very good boy no it's not taking treats Take them and spit them out, rather. Good boy. Good. Sniffing is really good. good. So if he wants to sniff right now, I will absolutely allow it. Um, sniffing is a really good way, good, for dogs to regulate their heartbeat back down. So a lot of dogs, when they're stressed, they will uh, redirect that stress by sniffing on things. So if you see something stressful go by, like let's say a really loud truck goes by, like it did maybe 10 minutes ago, um, he might immediately turn, once the truck is out of sight, he might immediately turn and go and try to sniff something or pull you over to go sniff something. That has nothing to do with pulling you and everything to do with him attempting to self-regulate his stress level. Good, Bowie.
bed. I expected a little bit more of a reaction for seeing a dog. Just watching. That's pretty good. Ready? We'll walk back on this side. Smell something. That's good. 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 That was a really nice reaction to a little bit of leash tension. If he can sniff and walk with me, and without pulling on the leash, he can sniff as much as he wants. As long as he listens, if, I, if he does hit the end of the leash, and he's not trying to drag me. Good. This way. Good. Good. Like I said, I'm not going to do too much about him walking in circles yet. Because he needs that movement. And I can get it to work for us for a bit. And then, once he has a better understanding... Frustration. Once he has a better understanding... Good. And his frustration level is less. Then we can start working on that. But not yet. Alrighty. Well, we still have the leash on. Good. Working on his behavior around the older dog. That's okay. Good boy. That's what I was waiting for. Good. Shake off is releasing all of the stress or pent up frustration from the walk. That's what I want. What I'm going to try to do now is see if I can get him to play a little bit as a way to release any other frustration or excess energy that he has left over. And then we're going to calm down for a couple of minutes and he'll be done. No, too much. No hovering. No, nope. too much intensity. Come here. Oh, what a good boy. Do you play with me? Oh, look at you bringing it back. Good. Oh my gosh, you are cute. <laughs> Alright, when we're done, the best way to help him be calm is to lower my energy. Oh, good boy. So what I'll do is I will... I'll talk very soft, softly. I'll move really slowly, just bring everything down. Good, thank you. Good job. And then in terms of their social interactions, help Dylan set up boundaries around his personal space. That'll help a lot. Yeah. Good, that was nice. He was quite a bit calmer a minute ago before I went back out to grab the toy that I forgot. Yeah. And then all of the petting when I'm trying to get him to calm down is slower, softer. If I'm going to do scratches, it'll be kind of like this. Or do like long strokes. Yeah. one of the really nice things about dogs is because they're so social it's typically pretty easy to help them co-regulate back down to being calm if you just change your energy What I want at the end of a walk good, is to play, to drain any of that excess energy and, and any frustration that built up on the walk because no matter, no matter what you do, if you're telling your dog to control how they move and pay attention for an extended period of time, you're going to build up some frustration. So provide an outlet for that, provide an outlet for any other energy, help them wind down. And then afterwards, it's really slow petting, talking softly, and helping them fully relax. Good. 
Now we're done. Yeah, I know, you like my stinky treat pouch. I'm trying to wind back up again. Keep everything very slow and calm. Good. And that might be a little bit harder for him because he seems like he's pretty used to being stuck at that higher energy kind of state where he's just going and going and going. So one of the things that can really help you guys is if you practice being really calm when you want him calm. And that, that can be kind of tricky, especially because it's so much more fun to wind your dog up than to calm him down. But you need both sides for your dog to be happy and healthy. 